Namaste one and all. My name is Hai Sanvi studying in 5th class C section. Today I am going to present a PPT on lesson 11 moon and artificial satellites topic phases of moon and eclipse. Moon and its phases. Our moon is the only Earth's natural satellite and 55th largest moon in the solar system. It is the brightest object in the night sky. It has no light of its own. We all know it has no lights of its own. It shines because of the sun's reflection. Since the moon is near to our Earth, it looks bigger. But actually, it is smaller than the stars and our planets and it is 384,403 kilometers away from the earth. Now let's see about the surface. It is a just rocky surface as you can see here in a picture. It, it is covered with a dark grey dust. Moon is made up of mountains and these craters. Moon is made up of mountains and these craters. Now let's see. No life on moon. There is no atmosphere in the moon. So there is no wind, no rain and no clouds on the moon's surface. The side of facing the moon is extremely hot. And the side other is cool and it supports the life. As there is no air in the moon, the astronaut's footprint remain there forever. Here we can see the astronaut's footprint. The day-to-day -day changing changes in the shape of the moons as seen from the earth are called phases of the moon. Now let's know about the new moon. New moon. When the moon is in the between of earth and the sun, you cannot see the moon at, at all. This is only called the new moon. Now let's see the crescent moon. As the moon moves further, you can see a small sunlit portion of the moon's surface. This is only called the crescent moon as you can see in the picture. Now let's know about the half moon. When the moon moves more further, you can see half of the moon. This is only called the half moon. Now let's see about the gibbous moon. Gibbous moon. Eh, we can see the gibbous moon when the, the moon is more than half. It is only called the gibbous moon. Now let, at the last, let's see the full moon. When the moon reaches the further side, the earth from the sun, you can see the complete moon. It is only called the full moon. Here, we can see the faces of the moon. Now, let's learn about the eclipse. An object that blocks the light and does not reflect it at all is called an opaque object. When light falls on an opaque object, it casts a shadow. It, the earth and the moon are also an opaque object. The shadow of the earth and the moon produce, produced by sunlight are called eclipse. Now there are two types of eclipse. They are solar eclipse and lunar eclipse. Now let's see about the types of eclipse in detail. Now let's first learn about the lunar eclipse. When, when the earth comes between the moon and the sun, here earth casts a shadow on the moon. It blocks the light from the sun to reaching the moon. Here they are telling us it the earth casts a shadow on the moon. So we know that there is, the moon ha, don't have its own light. The 
sun helps it hit to show the moon so if there is no sunlight falling on the moon so we cannot see the moon it is the lunar eclipse now let's see about the solar eclipse when the here the uh, moon is between the earth and the sun it here the moon casts a shadow whereas the lunar eclipse the earth casts a shadow on the moon here the moon casts the shadow on the earth in that certain places we cannot the people cannot see the moon not the moon the sun this is only called the solar eclipse now there are some questions for us they are the increasing size of the lighter part of the moon is called the decreasing size of the lighter part of the moon is called dash or saucer shaped hole that have been made when the lumps of rocks fall on the moon